trying to do justice to a palette that I just did a first impression on, and I was like, that isn't exactly, I think we can go a lot farther with that one. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I do have a couple of uh, primers on today. The e.l.f. Halo Glow in Fair One, and I also have the Glow Oil with the SPF 50, and uh, this one's from Supergoop. And then as far as what I did for the foundation, I went ahead and used the L'Oreal True Match C 2.5. These are, it's a really thin formula. I didn't realize how really thin it was. Um, but let's see, as far as bronzer today, I used the MAC. And this is in the Light Radiant, um, or Light Rosy Radiant. So that's what I have on there. Um, I did go ahead and used... What is this? Standard? I think it's standard. By LYS as far as my cheek color goes today. And this was actually part of um, what they released last holiday season in a three pack. So I did go ahead and use this one. I also use the LYS, um, let's see, concealer as well today. And I did try a little bit of a new technique. Went ahead and used a glowish powder by Huda, the One Fair, and uh, went ahead and used the powder puff with it. So it did brighten my under eye a little bit more than usual. So I kind of like it, and these puffs are kind of fun. I'll have to play with them a little bit more. So that's what I did there. As far as what I did for high highlighter, um, I did go ahead and use two today. Use the Undone Beauty one, and with Undone Beauty, you can go ahead and get this at Ulta. This is their Nonser Highlighter Palette, and uh, you do have to order it off the website. It isn't uh, available in-store. And then the other one I used was Rosé All Day Petal Glow. Uh, this one's by Physicians Formula, so I have both of those on today. As far as the look goes, I'm also very, very determined um, to go ahead and use my melted mattes uh, from Too Faced. Yeah, from Too Faced. For some reason, I have it in my brain that I can't use them except for fall and holidays. So uh, this one is my type. And I went ahead and put the So Glassy Lip Gloss from ColourPop on it. So that's what I have there. And then, um, let's see, where do we go? Oh, well, let's go to the palette. So this is the NYX. It's the Ultimate Vintage Jean Baby. And so I did go ahead and do one look with this, and I just thought, yeah, we could do a lot more with that. So um, this time I started with the whole matte base, uh, used this one in the crease and this one in the crease, this one on the outer corner, and a little bit of this right below the brow bone. And then I went ahead and used this corner, or this uh, shimmer, um, right on the inner corner from there to there. Um, I used this shimmer on the lid itself with a little bit of this one, and then I use this one on the outer corner, which is actually a duochrome, really pretty duochrome as well. And uh, yeah, it goes blue to black. So it, actually, it's a duochrome based in black with sulfur and turquoise is what I'm trying to say there. So, um, and then I did go ahead and use this one for the liner underneath the eye. Um, I think it's a really pretty formula. Um, definitely a good palette for traveling because it's really heavy duty. I don't think it's going to break or fall apart or anything. And um, it's one of the new NYX Ultimate palettes. So, this is the way that the eye look turned out. And that's the way that that looks. And so it came out as a very dark look. And uh, Blue Jean Baby, where it has, you know, it has the light stonewashed denim and then the really dark denim. And yeah, I mean, you could, you could definitely do that with it. But as brought one of my very stained uh, microfiber cloths. 
and I'm going to try to take the look down a little bit but not too much so yeah finger uh, write your microfiber cloth and then just come in and just bring it down a little bit so instead of being all the way up at the brow now it's only you have at least yeah, at least a quarter of an inch maybe a little bit more but you know if you have a really pretty very bold color and you want to take it down a little bit so that you can wear it during the daily instead of an all glam look uh, that's definitely one way to go ahead and do it. I'm going to take a little bit more up here, a little bit more up there. And even with this, you still have a little bit of sparkle left, which is kind of fun. And so now the look is more like this. And um, definitely a little bit easier for every day. I have to clean up a little bit here and there which is what I'm doing right now. But I thought that this was just a really pretty palette that I hadn't done justice to. And so I wanted to do a second look with it. And I think we found how deep it can go. Um, you could probably, you could do a grungy look and go even deeper with it. But that's kind of where I'm going to leave it today, and I think it turned out really pretty, and it has a lot of sparkle to it, so I really like it, and um, I'm pretty sure that that's video for today, so I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.